Ted Welpot, Performance Manager with Cox Automotive. Today, we're talking about the strategy page, specifically how can that help our dealership acquire vehicles that make sense and save time. So the strategy page is really important because what it does is it follows us around to all different areas within the tool. And it helps our team be more efficient in their day-to-day -day activities. How do we get there? From the home page on V Auto, we come over to provisioning. Once we click on provisioning, you'll see the drop down. We'll go ahead and we'll click on strategy, and that will take us to the strategy page. Once we're on the strategy page, we're going to want to go ahead and expand the view so that we have all the data showing on that page. We can also add dollar buckets, 15 to 20, 20 to 25. We can expand that as well. Your performance manager can help you out with that. And once we have this expanded, we're going to be able to see more information. We can see target day supply. We can see minimums to stock. We can see our sales and our sold data right here. We're going to dive into intermediate SUVs. And this is where we're really going to get the information that we need to help the tool give us the information on the appraisal and the service drive and out at the auction that will help our team be more efficient. So once we're in here, these blue squiggly lines, when we click on them, that will open a pop-up box. In this particular example, we're looking at intermediate SUV. And in this intermediate SUV box, we can see the orange line is the market sales for my market. And the blue is our inventory as a percent of our inventory. In this particular example, we see that we have a hole in the 30 to $35,000 bucket. It's the third best selling segment in the market. So there's an opportunity for the store to incrementally increase sales here. We're gonna go over to the 30 to $35,000 bucket. We're gonna come down to intermediate SUV. Once we're here, I can see that I have zero vehicles in stock currently. And in the last 45 days, I've sold five. This is a rolling 45 day report. And you know, if one of these cars was sold 44 days ago, tomorrow I risk coming in and having to say four here and my positive stocking strategy will probably drop to three. Once I click into the white area, it's gonna open up this pop-up box. And this is where I'm gonna be able to modify the information that follows us around. In this particular example, I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on it because I'm not probably not gonna go out and buy five cars today. I'm gonna change my minimum to stock to five. And then that way I don't risk going backwards with this particular segment. The next area is appraisals. By the way, all these blue items here are clickable links. They will take you to the seven appraisals that you did not bring into inventory. So this is great for a save a deal meeting. And service appointments. We're gonna look at this a little bit deeper in a second here, but these are appointments that are coming in and then today, tomorrow or next week that have an intermediate SUV between 30 and $35,000. Over on the right-hand side of the page, We've got our service appointments here, and this is where the data really starts to talk to us. It enables our team to make better decisions and to be more efficient in what they're doing. If I have an equity mining tool that I'm utilizing with my service drive, maybe I find 10, 15, 20 customers that are coming in today that are in equity, and I can't talk to that many. Maybe the team can only get to 10, right? So what I wanna do is come into V Auto, into my appraisal section, and I wanna come over here and I'm gonna check positive stocking strategies. And once I do that, I'm gonna have all these plus signs, plus six, plus nine, plus nine. And in that way I can be more efficient with the people I'm targeting inside of the service drive. I can talk to the customers that have cars that I need based on the market sales and my sales. On the left side, we have the appraisal tool. And this is just a snippet out of the appraisal tool over on the right hand side. Your managers, when they're desking a deal, they're gonna see a grade and they're gonna see a positive or negative stocking strategy here. So if the vehicle is a clean car, has a good Carfax, a good market day supply, you put some common sense into it, and it's a retailable car, I know I need this car. The higher the stocking strategy, the more all hands on deck it should be. If I've got a plus three here or a plus five or a plus 10, if I can't close the customer, I'm getting another TO, or maybe I'm getting the general manager to come TO, or maybe I'm offering to buy the car. 
right? All hands on deck, this can help the team increase their paycheck because they're gonna get a car that we know we sell, the market sells, and we need. This data also follows you out to Stockwave, which is our auction tool. You can sort inventory out there based on your stocking strategies. That's our quick tip for today. If you need any additional assistance setting up your strategy page, please reach out to your performance manager. Thank you.